It's homecoming at Florida State University. Time for your Best Buy game preview. I'm Ryan Pincy inside Doe Campbell Stadium. The Seminoles return home after their victory over the Miami Hurricanes to play the Coastal Division leading Duke Blue Devils. And this isn't the same old Duke that you're used to. They are leading the Coastal Division. They're 6-2 and two overall. Bowl eligible for the first time since 1994. Add all of those things up and the Seminoles are not overlooking this team. Great team. They only lost two games. They're having one of the best seasons they have in a, had in a while. So. Um, it's great. It's our homecoming game. They're coming here home um, to our. It's, it's always great to play here at home and to be able to play them. It's an ACC game, so that, that makes it even a better game. So we just have to treat it like it's a national championship game. I mean, they're a great team, and we're definitely not going to look past them or, or downgrade them. We know they're a great team. Those guys up front be pushing the guys out of there and out of the gaps and creating holes for the running back to run through that guy. Those are the um, ball well to two receivers. I think two of their receivers got 50 catches each. And, you know, it's going to be a tough game, you know, tough up front, tough to stop that pass. It's going to be a great game out there. A great Duke team coming in this week, 6-2, and two, leading the other side. They're moving the ball very well, playing good defense. Playing good defense, too. Great special teams. Punters number one in the league, 45-yard average. Only had 12 balls returned on him all year. So they're winning the field position battle, doing a great job, not giving up big plays, making go the long way. Big physical guys on the defensive front. Offense, throw, they're throwing the ball very well. In the last game, they ran the ball very well. Had 200 yards rushing against North Carolina. They've been throwing it mainly, but then uh, they got the, the running game going last week. It's going to be very big, like you said, to stay focused because a lot of people still stuck on, oh, Duke is not that good. But actually, they are very good. And like you said, they are leading that side. So, you know, they, we, they are next opponent. And we're we getting our preparation right right now. We're going to be ready for them. It's it going to be challenging for us to, um, when we play Duke to be very detailed, knowing what, you know, what the assignment is, what we need to be and great at technique and just being assignment perfect, that's it. Cause they, they are great, you know what I mean? They they run their routes good, they block good up front. So it's just gonna be us like being able to be very detailed and to, on our assignments for us to be able to play well against Duke. Duke head coach David Cutcliffe is very familiar with Florida State's starting quarterback, E.J. Manuel. He recruited Manuel when he was on the staff at Tennessee. He respects the play of Manuel and knows that it'll be a complete ball game to try and slow him down. Well, I've watched him all the way through high school, tried to recruit him. Um, he's, he's a special athlete. I've always dreamed of having a defensive end that's as big and physical as he is. Um, <laughs> and um, he is a physical specimen and uh, throws it well, sees the field well. Um, just an outstanding player and competitor. He's had a tremendous career Joined now by Seminoles icon Brandon Meller. Brandon, this isn't the same Duke team that you just go ahead and chalk a win up to each year. Somehow they remind me of the old Wake Forest and Virginia teams that come in with a lot of veteran talent. Yeah, this is a team like those squads where you know, you're know you getting the most out of everybody on the roster. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, you credit coaching staff for coaching those guys up, recruiting guys that fit their system, doing what they need to do. And you know, you're right, 17-0 FSU is all-time against Duke. And this is the best Duke team that FSU will have faced in that time. First meeting was in 92. And uh, again, a lot can change in that in that time frame. So, so Florida State should be ready for this team. This team is good. They're leading the Coastal Division for a reason. They've, they've won the games they're supposed to. Uh, and you know they're coming off an emotional victory over North Carolina last weekend. So uh, that can really do wonders for a program moving forward. So uh, again, it's going to be a dogfight for the Knowles on Saturday. One thing Coach Fisher talked about earlier this week was a bye week and how desperate this team is for one. How important is it to stay focused on the task at hand, playing solid football for the full game against Duke, and then getting the rest next week? It's critical. And, and to have a bye week 10 weeks in of the season is a big deal. I mean, you get, these guys are beat up, and and other than Chris Thompson, you've, you know, FSU's really kind of escaped the injury bug pretty well this season. Now you got one more game before you get that much needed break, and then you have that Thursday night up at Virginia Tech. But you know, this is a game where you can't be looking to that off weekend next week. You can't be thinking about what's going on and, and hanging out at home, and getting to sleep in on, on Saturday or whatever you're going to be doing. Uh, you got to take care of business on Saturday against the Duke squad. That's very good, as we've said. And uh, again, the Knowles. I don't think the Knowles have overlooked anybody this year. Yeah, they had a letdown at NC State, but uh, you, know, you look at that as kind of maybe being something where, you know, they, they take that with a grain of salt. They understand what went wrong. They know what they need to do to improve on from last week against Miami. Uh, and, and they should go out and play well against the Duke Blue Devils on Saturday at 3.30. A limited number of tickets are still available for Florida State's homecoming matchup between the Duke Blue Devils at 3.30 inside Doe Campbell Stadium. You can get those right now. Seminoles.com forward slash tickets. 
If you can't make it to Doe Campbell Stadium, you can watch the game on ESPNU. You can also follow all of the action on Seminoles.com forward slash game day. That's your home for all of the information that you'll need throughout the game. Don't forget in the post game, we'll have comprehensive coverage, interviews, and post game analysis as the Seminoles take on the Duke Blue Devils this Saturday inside Doe Campbell Stadium. Enjoy homecoming, especially if you're coming back to Florida State University for the first time in a long time. We'll see you here inside Doe. For Seminoles.com, I'm Ryan Pensy.